Next at 6, the DNR is very busy with its annual deer count. Yeah, for the fourth year, helicopters are being used to count some areas in south central Wisconsin, zones where chronic wasting disease has been found. Fisheries Mark Lovacott was up early and went along for the ride. Early Friday morning. Here's a Dane County line, the Wisconsin River. A plan is in the works. They're plotting a wildlife census mission. About 250 sections, uh, square miles of land. Individual square miles, one by one. Simply put, these gentlemen from the DNR are taking to the skies to count deer. Let me go. Okay, here we go. Lone Rock area traffic, helicopter 1075 from back is departing the ramp uh, southeast bound under special VFR. The two observers, one operates a map and makes sure that we're within our transects and marks down exactly where we count each each deer, or not each deer, but each group of deer. We put the numbers on the map. We've got some bedded right in front of us. Okay, let me get down more. Seven in that group, plus two. We're coming up, up on a group of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen running. Nice bucks. One of our goals in managing against CWD is to reduce the deer herd, reduce the size of the deer herd. And if we don't have adequate census, of deer, uh, we can't tell whether we're accomplishing that goal or not. The helicopter counts are only done in the CWD zones, Dane, Iowa, Sauk, and Columbia counties. It's the areas the DNR says that need the most precise counts. We just run into another group of nine. It's an expensive task, roughly $400 an hour, but Bates says they're able to see and count 80 to 90 percent of the deer out there. All right, we've got a group of deer bedded down up here to the right. I've got 18 in that group. It's the ultimate search for wildlife, and the scenery is beautiful. But a very important goal is at the center of this journey, and accuracy is essential. We want a real accurate count, so we use helicopters. It's expensive, but extremely efficient. In Lone Rock, Mark Lovacott, WISC News 3. Some interesting pictures yeah. there. Also, while in the air, the DNR is able to watch out for illegal hunting practices like baiting and feeding. The helicopter will be in the air for a few more days, and then after that, all of the information will be counted to ensure that the herd within the CWD zone is at a manageable level, or if action needs to be taken to shrink the population further.